Frederick Douglass is the most important and famous African-American leader of the 19th century. He was both uh, an intellectual and a writer of great importance, especially his autobiographies, but he was also a great symbolic leader, uh, an actor in history, particularly as an orator, and as uh, an active abolitionist, and eventually even as a statesman, um, an advisor to uh, a couple of presidents, particularly Abraham Lincoln. But Douglas was, of course, born a slave on the eastern shore of Maryland in 1818. He spent the first 20 years of his life as a slave until he escaped from slavery, disguising himself in sailor's clothing and with borrowed free papers from a free black in Baltimore, Maryland. He escaped by river and by train uh, to Philadelphia and eventually to New York and then to New Bedford, Massachusetts, which is where he first took up residence in the northern states. But quickly, within a couple of years of his escape from slavery, Douglas was beginning to establish somewhat of a public persona. He began to speak at an AME Zion church in New Bedford. He began to speak at some local anti-slavery societies. And he was discovered by William Lloyd Garrison and the Massachusetts Anti-Slavery Society uh, in 1841 and invited to a an abolition convention on Nantucket Island. And in August 1841, he gave his first public speech to white people out on Nantucket. After that, the Garrisonians hired him as an itinerant abolitionist orator, and he took the country by storm. Uh, for the next three and a half to four years, he spent most of his time on the lecture circuit across the northern states telling his story. He then wrote up that story uh, in his first autobiography, The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, published in 1845, which is without a question um, the, the best of the slave narratives, of the 60-odd slave narratives published before the Civil War. Douglass is, is without question the most important as a literary text and the most important as a historical document. But he then goes on to write two more autobiographies and to published his own newspaper, his own anti-slavery newspaper for 16 years, from 1847 to 1863. And he probably established his fame, though, um, most notably as an orator, as the author of, the crafter of uh, some of the greatest reform and anti-slavery speeches of the pre-Civil War period. 